just about to go for a run. It's six o'clock in the morning, but this has just started. Maybe I'll just wait a few minutes, see if it dies down. The rain has uh, calmed down a little bit, so I have come out. I'm under no illusion that it might just all of a sudden start up again. And also, I forgot to bring my trainers with me, so this is going to be more of a walk than a run, but never mind. I'm going to go barefoot, see how that goes. Look how far the tide is. It's so far out. Yesterday when we arrived, it was like literally right up here. It's so far away. I've just been running along the beach and got a little bit emotional. It's like crazy insane to me that like it's six o'clock in the morning. I'm running along Pee Pee Island Beach. There's nobody else anywhere. Like what even? This is my life? That's, it's insane. Crazy. If anybody else out there has dreams of traveling, whether it's full-time travel or whatever, I can't recommend it enough and I would obviously there's down points to it and there's bad days and good days like everything but oh my goodness if it's something you dream of doing do everything that you can to make that happen it's so worth it We are heading out. We're gonna go and grab something to eat. The re reason I'm recording in here as opposed to outside is because I think it's pretty windy and pretty rainy outside. It does not look nice at all, never mind. Look at those clouds. Actually, I think it's stopped raining now, to be honest. Has it stopped? Oh no, you can yeah. see. You can't see on the camera, but in the pool there. Yeah, there's lots of rain still. Come on, never mind, let's go. <laughs> We're gonna go there. Yeah, look at it, I mean, it's not the nicest in fact it's pretty crap but never mind I know uh, yeah oh, what, my the thing. I thought it was gonna just start pouring down I mean everyone back at home will be glad everyone that I've spoke to has been annoyed by our sunny weather videos so look now you've got a rainy weather video We've come to this place called Aqua, I think it's called. This is where we came yesterday. And of course, you know us, we come back to the same places all the time. Because this one doesn't like trying new places. delicious we're just gonna walk over to the beach we don't know what to do with ourselves really today to be honest we're contemplating whether to go whether to get a kayak because we don't know what else to do it's quite nice though I mean we, like, we could still just go in the sea or whatever Stephen's not got his swimming shorts on Ooh. I've got all my swimming stuff on just in case yeah we might get a kayak we just saw some people going out so it gave us the idea hotel and sort ourselves out yeah and then come back down yeah. we've just been talking about this morning before we went out we were watching some videos have you had the 2004 boxing day tsunami Stephen was born two days after that tsunami and uh, we're watching some videos about that and like the areas that affected obviously it was all at Southeast Asia like Phuket was affected and we were watching some videos from uh, from PP Island we we're just talking about it like how crazy you can't even imagine like being in that and just like seeing the water coming towards you like that it's just oh no horrific we're just coming to check out this pool Stephen fancies maybe coming here it's 200 bar per person right. to use it yeah but if it absolutely pisses down oh yeah 
We've just nipped back to the hotel so Stephen can grab his swimming stuff and I can grab the GoPro. I think I'm gonna leave this camera here just because it, yeah, it's still, I was gonna say it's stopped, but no, it is still raining. Yeah, not like massively strong. Actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's still raining so I don't really wanna take this camera out because we're gonna go in the sea and that. I don't wanna take this camera out and leave it on the beach and if it's like a massive downpour. It could get soaking wet, so I'm gonna leave this camera here and I'm gonna switch to GoPro. So you think you were right? Mm -hmm. Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight. Mm -hmm. The way I do, way I do will knock you down. You know there's a motion between the an amazing time down at the beach it was so so good wasn't it yeah it was really good we weren't gonna go in the sea because we went in at first and it was like it was cold like no we're not gonna go in but then we decided that we decided we were just being complete wimps and so we just went in and it was so amazing and like the sea went out and it goes out so so far like crazy far and like it was so shallow so far out anyway we had a really good time i'm gonna nip out now i think stephen is gonna it's sunday and the only time Stephen can like go online with friends or whatever generally is like Saturday and Sunday because the time difference I think we're six hours are we six hours yeah six hours ahead of the UK now and so it only really works out at the weekend like in terms of like playing games with people or whatever so he's gonna try and see if he can get online with people back at home I'm gonna nip out and see if I can maybe book a tour I think we leave PP Islands tomorrow but I was gonna see if I can maybe look, book like a little boat trip or something for the morning before we leave. I've come down to the beach. I've left Stephen. Stephen's managed to get online with his cousin. So I think he quite likes that I give him a bit of space sometimes. Obviously he's like 12 years old and he's with me constantly. He's not got like his own room or anything. And he's constantly like, we're constantly in each other's space. So I just left him there. He's happy. Uh, just like doing his own thing for a little bit as opposed to like being dragged somewhere around by me or you know whatever got my map with me I'm gonna do a bit of editing on PP Island Beach I mean seriously that's I can't really complain can I it's my birthday tomorrow it's my last evening of being I don't even know how old I am am I 34 it's my birthday tomorrow anyway Um. I mean this is pretty perfect to be quite honest can you see how far out this like these guys on the right they're not that far out but then these other guys on the left are so far out and like the water is only up to their calves i think they're like trying to and like catch crabs or something which it's not nice but hey i'm leaving the beach as you can see it's gotten extremely dark whilst i've been sat, sat there i uh, have a feeling that i have now I've completely left it too late to book a snorkeling trip in the morning but I'm going to have a look on the way back home. Oh, little dog has come to join me. Well, van past me. Yeah, hopefully I can book something but yeah, I think that possibly that we'll close by now to be honest. Oh, look. All the places are closed where you book like little tours and things. I just went back home to see Stephen. He was fine. In fact, he was almost like ushering me out the door to be like, yeah, 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 I'm fine, leave me alone, he's still online. With his cousin, come over to the other side of the island. The island, the side I was on before was the pier side where you get dropped off here. I'm on like the beach side now. Like, it literally takes, I don't know, like two minutes to walk from one side to the other. In terms of like from the pier to the beach side, like lengthwise, it's 
much longer, but like, anyway, yeah, that's short. Oh, there's a little cat. Hello. No, I've not got Stephen with me. It's there, just come here. I know, I know. This, 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 this schedule, we still got uh, three boats. Okay. No, no, no half six. Yeah. So, so, so long. Just come back to the hotel and have a chat with Stephen. We're gonna go on the um, the snorkel thing tomorrow, so that should be good. I'm excited for that. That is what does it cost? It's 1,100, which is maybe 23, 24, 25, 20, 25 quid each or so, which is actually quite expensive. But there is a thing where if you go on, they, I could, they kind of just make these rules up a thing for themselves. What will give them more money? Which I don't blame them, but. Um, Maya Bay is a national park and so if you step foot on the beach you have to pay I think it's 400 bar from what I've read or that may be slightly wrong but I think it's about 400 bar if you step foot on the beach so our tour thing that we're doing tomorrow includes the 400 bar step foot on Maya Bay beach so yeah I mean 1,100 is not too bad 